Good morning, this is smartwatchspecifications.com, the premier site for smartwatch specs, news and news. Okay, we are on another video for the Y56 smartwatch. This time we're going to install the support app for the swear ball. Okay, so we have here the QR code. Let's see if it's also available here in the support app or in the smartwatch in the device. Okay, let's go to the settings or the more se function or menu. Camera, let's see. Okay, so we have here the support app QR code. So, as you can see here, the symbol is Fit Pro app. So, let's search for the app here. Okay, I'm just going to search for it Fit Pro. So we have here the Fit Pro app. Let me adjust the display. Fit Pro app. Okay, so we have here the Fit Pro app. Let's try to install. Again, it's a pretty popular support app with over 10 million plus downloads. It is used by cheap or affordable, shall we say affor affordable wearables. So let's see. Let's install. Let's install and try to connect our Y56 smartwatch. Okay, again, this is a rugged sports smartwatch with the basic functionalities. So we are installing. And, and let's see. Okay, so it is opening again. This is your wearable the Y56 smartwatch. So it's still scanning as you can see here. Let's wait. Okay, okay, so it is activated now. We can open it now. Fit Pro open. Okay, so we have the Fit Pro app. Let's see if we can connect it flawlessly with the device. Again, we already activated the Bluetooth here for the smartphone. So here, it is asking for permissions. Allow Fit Pro to access photos, media, and files on your device. Of course, allow it. Then, next, we have... Do we have another permissions? Let's see. So it takes time to load. Okay, so we have here fully loaded the support app. So we have here the UI, we have the heart rate, sleep, and the details here for emotion also. Okay, we have a support, I think, for the map trajectory. Okay, connect the GPS. This is the profile here. Okay, so we have here the settings. Okay. So let's check, device is disconnected, so let's try to connect it. So where do we have to bind device to experience more features? So allow Fit Pro to access this device's location. Allow. So it is scanning. We'll see if it is able to detect the smartwatch. Okay, it takes time. If you can't scan the device, please try boof and click. Okay, so let's try. Let's go to your smartwatch. And re let's reset this one. And hopefully... Or let's try to turn it off. So we can be sure. Long press, power down. Okay, okay, so we already turned it off. Let's turn it on again. And hopefully, it will be able to detect again.
okay so it takes time for the device so for the smartwatch too fine try please try restarting bluefoot and click reboot reboot okay so let's wait let's check let's go to our bluefoot settings okay let's try to have a troubleshooting bearing we'll see okay we're turning on the bluefoot device sometimes it's either you have to restart your phone or start the device so LT7 so we have here the LT719 is this the right device let's see more okay so we have the LT719 so let's see if we can connect this one so try to connect completed 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 okay so synchronous data is complete as you can see here we troubleshoot it and so far it works so there's some minor issues in connecting the smartwatch to the device okay so here we'll see so we have a message push notifications Okay, let's see if what are the apps supported. We have the Facebook here, Twitter, Line, WhatsApp, Instagram, QQ, WeChat. Okay, so uh, SMS reminders. Uh, it's also supporting other apps here. We have the Skype, KakaoTalk, and LinkedIn. Okay, for the dial settings, let's see. I guess there's no option for this one let's see okay so we have so we have at least two here the default and we have other options here okay we will have more on the watch faces on our next video but anyway let's just try a simple watch face here how about this one okay let's see okay synchronized dial so let's check upgrading as you can see here this loading we'll see if how long will it take to download the watch face here in our device 20 26 30 so let's see it's almost finished okay update success as you can see here we successfully loaded the watch face on our device again we'll have more on this topic okay on our next video okay so also have it the default watch face here okay other options here we have let's see vibration that's it nothing else and do not disturb alarm sedentary brightness and over the air upgrade let's see if we have some updates for the so device so no need and that's it so that that's your y56 smartwatch with the installation of the fit pro app okay so it works okay no issues at all although we have some minor setback for the connections but if you know what you're doing it is easy to troubleshoot okay so far we connected it with a support app fit pro app again if you have any questions regarding the smartwatch Please drop a comment below and we will try to answer your queries if we do have the time. This is smartwatchspecifications.com. 
the premier site for smartwatch specs, news, and reviews. Goodbye.